Oh, did we catch the Arcanine? Yes! <laughs> oh, we look like a genius from his perspective. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Boost to the Top VGC 2020 Series 6. Now, I, my question of the day for you guys, I'm going to start off with the question of the day. Do you mind that I upload stream highlights to YouTube, or would you prefer dedicated videos? I can probably pull off either one. It's just that uh, stream highlights are really nice for filling the gaps in between... Uh, sessions where I can record. Uh, nonetheless, do me a favor, uh, if you guys want to help me out, you can go ahead and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it at any point in time, and uh, let's try to shoot for like 200 today if possible. I've always said 150, but recently the channel's been doing pretty well, so let's let's shoot for 200. I really appreciate all the support. But the team that I'm running today is, of course, on screen if you guys want to use the rental code, uh, and it revolves around GMAX Blastoise. Now, I think GMAX Blastoise is actually a super interesting pick this season, uh, because with the lack of Rillaboom running around, it's actually much easier to use. Uh, Polytoad is excellent support for it. Safety Goggles, uh, Arcanine is great for protecting it from Porygon Z. And I've also speed crept this Blastoise uh, in particular to uh, ensure that even at minus one speed, like if I get, or I guess plus one speed, because if I get plus two from my Shell Smash and then get to minus one due to either Icy Wind or um, Electro Web or Max Strike, I'll still outspeed base 110 Pokemon like Raichu. So that's actually really, really cool. Um, also on the team, we have Focus Sash Urshifu. It puts in a lot of work. Uh, we have Assault Vest Zarina, and we have a Friend Guard Clefairy here. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the battles. So recently, I've been doing a lot of streaming on Twitch. If you guys want to, you know, watch me live, I, I go live every night at 10 p.m. CST on Twitch, and I'm actually shooting for uh, partnerships, so any support you guys can show is actually really, really appreciated. We've been doing pretty good on the support, uh, but I just want to have a nice little cushion in case things don't go right. And if you haven't noticed, uh, my, my standing is absolute garbage, <laughs> and that's because I tried using Kamo the past week, and that wasn't incredible. Uh, but this team has been doing fairly well on the ladder, as long as I don't get too unlucky with Snarl misses or uh, misplay too hard, I'm usually able to pull off a win. And as you can see, I, I, I just barely broke even last night. We're 27-27. It's honestly a horrible rating. Uh, but I like to imagine you guys watch me for more than just my rating. Like, maybe you guys like hanging out with me. <laughs> just kidding, I'm awful. Okay, uh, so this is a hard trick room. This is very, very hard trick room. Unfortunately, we don't have a surefire way of stopping it. Or actually, maybe we do. Hold on. Hold on. Actually, no. We can stop this trick room hard. I'm just gonna helping hand this, uh... <laughs> I'm just gonna helping hand my Blastoise in the lead and see if I can one-shot whatever goes for it. Uh, because that Water Spot does disgusting damage. Uh, in the back, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the Urshifu, because it just seems really, really nice for this matchup. And I I'm slightly concerned about the Lurantis, um, but I think if I bring Clefairy, we should be fine. I don't want to bring the Zarina here, even though Zarina might be really nice. Actually, mm, yeah, I'm going to drop Clefairy for Zarina. Zarina's too important uh, to not have a hard check for. Yeah, I think we're fine without the Clefairy. And if we stop the Trick Room on the lead, we're perfectly, we're, like, we're perfectly fine. We're good to go. Um, I think the only thing that could really guarantee a Trick Room setup is, like... I guess Focus Sash on the Trick Room Setter, which I, I don't think Focus Sash Hatterene is too common anymore, so we're probably fine. We're probably good to go. I'm, I'm just overthinking it. Also, question for anyone who's familiar with uh, making videos. I am very bad with technology sometimes, so if you know any good settings for OBS that might help me with getting better quality video, I'd really appreciate that. Okay, so as long as it's not like Focus Sash Hatterene, we should be good, because this Helping Hand Water Spout in the rain... <sighs> That is not anything to laugh at. That is nothing to laugh at. I mean, I could also go for Icy Wind in case I think it's Sash. That might be safer, but I think I'm willing to risk the Sash here. Um, am I? I could Icy Wind and Water Spout. Eh, I don't know. We'll just Helping Hand. We'll just Helping Hand the Water Spout and hope for the best. <laughs> just don't be focused, Sash, and we're fine. That's literally the only thing that could stop me. Come on, Blastoise, go! <laughs> Clefairy goes for the Protect. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Don't be Focus Sash. Don't be Focus Sash and we're all Gucci. Oh my god, it didn't even need it. What just happened to me? What fresh hell is this? Okay, uh, the bright side is they should be aiming into the Blastoise here. I don't think they Dynamax, like, ever, so I'm just gonna Icy Wind. Maybe I don't Icy Wind. Maybe I go for a, another Water Spout, since it should KO Hatterene. I'm surprised that didn't KO. I'm genuinely surprised. Um, we'll Helping Hand the Water Spout here. 
Because they, like, even... They're not going to Dynamax. There's no way they Dynamax this Hatterene from this range, right? Yeah, we're good. We should be able to take whatever, as long as it's not, like, Energy Ball. I'm really surprised that took that hit. That's crazy. And it's not Assault Vest or anything. That's just wacky. Wow, this might not... Oh, he gets the crit on the Blastoise. This might not KO now. This might not KO, which is really unfortunate. Okay, good. We did just barely pick up a KO. But th that was really annoying. <laughs> that was super, super annoying. Um, if there's a if there's a Slowbro in the back, I'm kind of in trouble. I don't really mind the Lorantis too much. I think we're fine versus that. Yeah, there's the Lorantis, so... Um, I do have Ice Beam. What I'll do here is I'll just go into... I don't mind losing the Blastoise, really. Uh, I'll just go into the... Zarina here. I can go Zarina and just try to Ice Beam. I'm assuming he's gonna go for his max move. Then again, if you like max Knuckles, he's just, like, he loses a lot here. I'd rather have him just go for, like, the Leaf Blade. I'm really surprised that Zarina took the hit so well. I mean, the friend guard helps a ton, right? But still, that's crazy. Let's see if he superpowers. Yep, makes sense. Into the Zarina is slightly concerning. Maybe I can get like a freeze here. That'd be that'd be incredible. No freeze. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. I just need a really, really, I just need to stall the Trick Room, I think, and I'm fine. How many turns of Trick Room are left? I also need to get rid of this thing. Um, I think it's pretty unlikely he's running a bug move. Hmm. Here's what I'll do this turn. There's two turns left to Trick Room. I don't mind burning a Dynamax yet. This might be a misplay, but I'm, I'm willing to go for it anyways. Um, I don't think he's going to burn a Dynamax yet. I want to get rid of the Clefairy more than anything, and I should be able to take any hit from this Lorantis. And they don't Dynamax this turn, which is great. Uh, hopefully they target into the into the Zarina. Hopefully they target into Zarina here. Because I should take the hit. But I absolutely have to remove this uh, Clefairy if I want to win. There's the follow me, that's fine, as long as they superpower into Zarina, I'm cool with that play. Yep, we're good, we eat the hit. And this should guarantee a knockout. I know I'm giving it boosted grass moves, but I think I'm cool with that. Uh, what I'll actually do here is, um, yeah, that should KO after the Ice Beam. What I'll do here is I'll actually double into my Politoed. Like, I'm just gonna let my... I'm just gonna earn... I'm gonna end my Dynamax early to preserve the Zarina. Because I think I need to, uh... I think I need to keep it safe for once Trick Room's over. I didn't bring the Clefairy, which I'm really regretting now. I think Clefairy would have been much more useful over the, um... Over the Urshifu now. There's the Slowbro. Uh, I'm cool with that. Ooh... Wait, what? Oh my god, he's room service. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, uh, here's what I'll do. I will sack the Politoed this turn. And I think I can win once the Trick Room's out, as long as my Blastoise goes down at the end of the turn. Uh, I'll also get some damage off on the Slowbro with um, Dark Pulse, because that should allow it... That should free me up so I can go for my... Um, that should free me up so I can go for my, um, what's it called? <laughs> I can go for crits on the Lorantis to ignore the stat boosts. As they Dynamax here, hopefully that's the Lorantis, because I think that's a little bit easier to deal with with my team. Okay, it's the slow bro. Slightly more concerning, but that means they're, once their Trick Room's gone, it's just over. There's the Max Ooze, probably into the Politoed, which I'm fine with, because that means I survive this turn and I get my Berry. It's 
gonna raise a special attack stat. Um, and he's also gonna lower the, the Lorantises, which is really funny. That's the thing about Lorantis in this format, it's really awkward to run with max moves, because you're kind of just debuffing yourself every single turn. There's the superpower. In the Blastoise makes sense, that's fine. Rain has ended. Um, I should be able to helping hand this max. I, I should be able to helping hand my um, my Urshifu's Wicked Blow to KO the to KO the boy on the field. But I'm also somewhat tempted to try to KO this Lorantis with helping hand and my uh, my Wicked Blow. I'm somewhat tempted to do that because I think Slowbro may max guard here as he tries to remove the Urshifu. This may be a throw. I really hope this KOs. I really hope this KOs, because they're probably not Focus Sash. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I need this Lorantis off the field if I want to win anyways. Show me the max guard on the on the uh, Slowbro, please. No max guard? That's fine as long as it's KOs. Oh yeah, we get that KO. And there's no way he one-shots my uh, Urshifu, so if he targets into the Urshifu, that's the best case scenario here. The Max Mindstorm, that's going to go into the Politoed, unfortunately. Uh, but he should be in range of, like, U-turn into into two, um, into two of my moves here. So we just barely snuck in this win. Yeah, Zarina plus, uh, Zarina plus the boy should pick up a win. I guess the only thing that could really mess me up is like Max Hailstorm KOing me through my through my sash. So uh, we'll just U-turn here for damage, and we will Wicked Blow because he should go for the Poison move. And this is his last turn at Dynamax anyway, so two Wicked Blows should pick up a KO. Critical hit. As long as he doesn't have a move that will set up like uh, some kind of terrain, we're good. Or not some kind of terrain, set up some kind of um, thingy. Set up a thingy. So something really clever that my opponent did here was actually create a condition where his quick draw may activate to win him the match. But I'd like to assume their regenerator since quick draw hasn't activated yet. What I'll do to play it safe is I'll actually U-turn and go for detect here, because two U-turns should pick up a KO. And that makes it so regardless of what he does, as long as he doesn't target into Zarina, I'm fine. Ah, oh, there's the quick draw. I think we actually got him. I think we got him. Let's detect here. Shell sidearm. Hey, we got him, boys. So hopefully the U-turn picks up the two at KO, because that ensures my win. Oh yeah, we won. <laughs> See, I can't sucker punch is the thing, uh, which is why I didn't feel safe just clicking it. Uh, we'll Wicked Blow. So regardless of what he does here, we're fine. Unless he has, like, Blizzard. Nope. We get to punch this man in the face. Boom. Okay, get that Slowbro out of here. Get this thing off my screen. Man got nanaed. I love the way he sits when he gets knocked out. He's just like, Oh, guess I'll sit down. <laughs> Guess I'm done here. He like doesn't even realize that he's lost. He's just tired. He's like, oh, I'm done. Yeah, the the detect definitely saved me that game. Continue battling. He was probably popping off when he got the quick draw. He was like, oh, oh, poggers, poggers, guys, I got it. And then I was like, ah, no, I I called it. <laughs> So this is a very interesting team. It's ha it's hail offense. It's rain offense plus dreadnought. Um, my team actually has a pretty decent matchup versus it, as long as I play my cards right. It looks like Clefairy goes really really hard in this matchup because um, that's most likely Dark Urshifu. Uh, I have to keep my Urshifu healthy if I want to win. I could actually probably go Blastoise on the lead, and that should be fine. We'll do this. We'll do Blastoise, Clefairy, Zarina in the back, because Zarina is a huge asset here, and I'm going to go Urshifu. Um, I think my Blastoise is actually going to be really, really nice for this matchup if I can get my, my Shell Smash off, because I believe... Don't quote me on this. Let me check my stats. <laughs> Let me check my stats real quick. 
I think I may be faster than the Dreadnought plus two. I should have calced for that to be honest, but I am not. I am not good at uh, predicting the meta. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, where's the Blastoise team? There it is. Blastoise has base 78 speed. I hit 120. I think we get outspeed by Dreadnought. Let me look at my own Dreadnought. Dreadnought, Dreadnought, where are you? Here it is. Yeah, Dreadnought is 138, so we get outsped. Okay. So, like, yeah, Dreadnought is going to be an issue, but if he goes for his rock move, he's just kind of screwing himself over. Right, you Ferrothorn? Okay, this is actually a really nice turn for me. Uh, what I can do is I can predict the fake out and go hard into my Zarina. Because they should fake out here, right? If they just go straight up for the... <laughs> if they just go straight up for their move, I'm going to be so upset with myself. I'm going to go Zarina I'm going to try to Shell Smash. Hopefully they like just double into the Ferrothorn or maybe fake out the... Uh... I'm hoping they fake out the Clefairy slot and try to remove it. They could also possibly miss a Power Whip. Some Ferrothorn actually aren't running any grass moves right now just because Leech Seed body presses so- Oh, come on. They read me like a book. They read me like a book. That might just be an L right there. I mean, it's still Popsicle, don't get me wrong. It's still pretty Popsicle. I actually- I think I would prefer if they just destroy this Blastoise here. Let me just start off with a fresh, <laughs> a fresh slate. I could have follow Mead there. If I follow Mead, that would have been game. They would have been absolutely nanate on. Okay, uh, bright side is they might just go for another one. And I want to keep the Zarina healthy. We'll water spout here, hoping that he just goes for another nuzzle. Uh, unfortunately, I can't protect the Zarina, so I'll just switch into Clefairy again. I'd rather have a, I'd rather have a paralyzed Zarina than a paralyzed Clefairy, to be completely honest here. And my Water Spout should knock out a non-Sash Raichu, which is likely what they are. That's likely what they are. There's the Arcanine. Let's see what happens here. I would assume they just try to KO the Blastoise then. Volt Switch? Okay. So I should take that. Um, this is going to be doing a lot of damage to this Arcanine, which I would really like to get a straight up KO there. If at all possible, because Arcanine's a huge threat. I could also follow me this next turn. Ferrothorn. Alright, we get the water spat off. This should be doing a ton. Oh, we almost KO the Arcanine. Almost KO the Arcanine. I mean, I could just follow me and go for a second. Or I could risk uh, my Dynamax being completely ruined. Because I'm only at neutral speed, right? And I'm losing health every turn here. Hmm. I think I get the most out of the game if I play with the Urshifu correctly. So what I'll do is I'll just Water Spout again. And go for a Protect. And hopefully I can knock out this Arcanine. I, I doubt we're going to knock out the Arcanine. But we can get it in range where um, Urshifu can do its job. Alright, hopefully the Blastoise goes down here to be honest. If the Blastoise goes down, we're not in a bad spot. Maybe a body press, something like that. Because I want to get my boy in for free. Leech Seed, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. At this point, I believe my Dark Pulse is stronger. So I'll actually just Dark Pulse into the Arcanine, maybe catching um, maybe catching them on like a Protect or something, or, uh, or a Switch. So we're d we'll Dark Pulse here. It, it technically does more damage. And we'll switch in the Zarina, assuming they Snarl. And Leech Seed again. We're really lucky we haven't gotten fully paralyzed yet. However, the speed control has been a little bit annoying. There's the Snarl, that's fine. 
We do not hang on. As long as they Leech Seed here, I'm okay with this turn, because I should be able to uh, bring in my Urshifu relatively safely. Yep, there it is. And nothing on their side of the field wants to take a G-Max 1 blow. I might actually just max Knuckle here. Because I think it may be in range of max Knuckle. It's it's probably not, but I'd rather... I'd rather get this off than not. <laughs> and we'll switch into Clefairy. Uh, I mean, they do have a chance of completely whiffing this... Um, completely whiffing this attack. And if they switch into the Raichu, this isn't a bad spot for me, because I get a free plus one, and if they switch back in the Arcanine, if they start cycling their Intimidates, I can keep up the offensive pressure. Alright, looks like they stay in. They might go for a Will-O-Wisp. Um, ho hopefully I just pick up a KO, though. I could have I could have just gone for the... for the... what's it called? I always want to call it Max One Blow. It's, it's literally just called Wicked Blow. I could have just gone for the Wicked Blow, but I wasn't willing to risk the... Uh, the Intimidate Cycling. And if they end up going for a Protect here, I actually gain more from the turn than I lose, because they're in range of a second one. Max Knuckle, please just KO. I'd really appreciate if this just KO'd from that range. Oh, come on! There have been so many games where these rules matter. Please tell me you just miss your attack here. Or maybe a Heat Wave. Will-O-Wisp? Okay, that's fine. Actually, that's that's ideal, funny enough. <laughs> that is funny enough, the best thing that could have happened. Leech Seed, I do not care. I'm going to go for a Max Knuckle again in Icy Wind, so I outspeed that stupid Raichu on the Switch. If there's anything nothing wants to face, it's a plus two Urshifu. And even worse than that, you, you know what nothing wants to face on top of that? A plus three Urshifu? Bam, facts, right there. All right. Let's go for another Max Knuckle, there's no reason not to. And we will Icy Wind, hopefully catching a Raichu. Because we are Jolly Max Speed, so we outspeed, we outspeed um, Arcanine if it comes back in. Which it might, it should probably switch out here. Um, and this will secure a KO on the Raichu. Watch it be like Static Raichu and I just get completely demolished because of that. He's just going to, like, get a second paralysis off. By the way, I definitely misplayed this game. I should not have... I should not have gone for that... Um, for that switch. Ooh, we get to pick off the Dreadnought. Hell yeah. I'm cool with that. Did he just max the Ferrothorn? Hello? Alright, I don't care. I'm going to get up to plus three, and then I'm just going to... And then I'm just going to hit this thing. He should probably Steel Spike into the boy, into the Clefairy, but I think we take that. I think Clefairy takes that. Like, Ferrothorn Steel Spike isn't too strong, especially since no one really runs attack investment. Man, Max Guarded. Beautiful. Exactly what I wanted to see. Don't be Focus Sash. If you're Focus Sash, I'm going to be big upsetty. I'm going to be upsetty spaghetti, dude. Alright, cool. That's great. That's phenomenal, in fact. Because we can Sucker Punch the Raichu on the, um... We can probably Sucker Punch the Raichu if he tries to go for, a uh, Nuzzle. Because he should fake out turn one, I think. Actually, I think I always just follow me. And go for my Max Knuckle again. He made a big misplay not going for that immediately, the, um... Not going for the immediate max steel spike, because that would have helped him a ton. Alright, so we're going to stay at plus two for the remainder of this game, I assume. Because we're just going to go ahead and max knuckle that <laughs> that Arcanine and KO it through its protect. Um, and also I'm going to protect here on my boy. Clefairy can take the hit. And on the Raichu, we can just Icy Wind and, um, yeah, we can just protect an Icy Wind. Okay, he's just going to give me the Raichu. That's actually better than anything I could have asked for. <laughs> that is legitimately better than anything I could have asked for here. Because next turn, we get to Icy Wind to KO it. Oh, 
Oh, it's not even Sash. Hell yeah. We're, we're like building the world's strongest Clefairy here. Max Steel Spike into the Clefairy. That's perfectly fine. Arcanine can't protect itself versus us, so I might just Wicked Blow. Because this, this Ferrothorn won't be able to KO us. <laughs> it's not going to be able to KO us, especially with Friend Guard on the field. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm safe just to go for the Wicked Blow into the Arcanine here. You can't do anything, because I'm still at plus two. I went for three Max Knuckles, I believe. Is, is my math wrong? I think my math's wrong. I think I'm at plus one now, but that's still fine, because we just Wicked Blow this thing to death. Oh, uh, yes, we're at plus one, but that is fine. That is fine. Let me uh, Wicked Blow this thing. And uh, I think I'll gladly... Actually, I'll switch out. I'll go Zarina. Because it would be really nice helping handing a Wicked Blow to remove the Ferrothorn from play. And he's not going to KO my Urshifu. He would have to crit. Alright, Arcanine is off the field. Uh, Steel Spike should not KO. Yeah. Garbage. Garbage damage. Ooh, actually, that's an issue. <laughs> that's an issue, to be honest. Okay, I think my play here is always to Wicked Blow for maximum damage. And go for the high jump kick. And then, if he protects this turn, I helping hand high jump kick, and I think that'll do the trick. Because he's only at plus two defense. Yeah, that's fine. He can't defend versus this. It's plus one Wicked Blow. And if I knock myself out on the Iron Barbs, then I'm fine. Okay, yeah. He does not take the Helping Hand at High Jump Kick from that range. And he doesn't get too much recovery here. So as long as I don't miss my High Jump Kick, I should win. Oh my god, we take so much damage there. If he gets a double protect, we lose. If we miss the high jump kick, we lose. That's pretty much it. Alright, helping hand. High jump kick. Tell me this KOs, man. Don't get the double. Don't you dare get the double. Come on, baby. KO. I need the Zarina to pull through. Zarina always pulls through, except for when it doesn't. But today is not one of those days. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. Go ahead and grab one more match for today's session. Guys, do me a favor. Leave a like for that match. Leave a like. I misplayed and managed to come back from it. Let me look at that. High horsepower. Interesting. You usually don't see it. Usually it's like superpower. Okay. Probably Assault Vest on the Raichu, considering there was no Sash. So we'll continue battling here. All right. 5,000th place. So we're actually we're actually laddering finally. We're actually finally getting some wins. <laughs> I would like to G-Max my Blastoise just once though, please. Just just a crumb of G-Max Blastoise, please. Just a crumb. It's taking a second to get me a match. And like I said, guys, I do go live uh, Mondays or Sundays through Thursdays on uh, Twitch at 10 p.m. CST, so I will be live tonight. 
Ooh, okay. Actually, a really scary team. Really, really scary. Um, it looks like a Lapras. It's just really defensive. Like, it's going to be very difficult to break. Um, I would lead off with Urshifu, but I don't think that's at all my play. I kind of want to lead off Blastoise, funny enough. Because it might just be epic. It may just be epic. Possibly. Popsically. Because I could just get, like, all my friends are dead syndrome off <laughs> on the uh, Lapras and clean up with Urshifu's Arena. I think I'm going to go for that. Uh, if they don't lead off Arcanine, I'm in a good spot because that means that if they... Uh, because that means I get my plus two immediately. I would actually prefer the, um, the Lapras lead here over anything. Alright, cool. That's what I wanted, because I should one-shot Noivern. What I'll do here is I'll actually Shell Smash very early in the match, because they're just going to Tailwind and go for their, um... And go for their move. There's the White Herb, there's the Eviolite. Yeah, uh, this should be fine. They're going to Tailwind and go for their max move. I'm going to Shell Smash immediately and just KO everything around the Lapras. We're in a Helping Hand, follow me. I could even probably... I I really want to follow me, assuming that they're going to go for the... Um... Nah, you know, I'm, I'm going to Protect. I'm going to assume that they're going to target into the Clefairy here. And Tailwind. Hopefully I made this read correctly, because if I didn't, that's actually going to be an issue for the Blastoise. It really affects the longevity Blastoise has in the field, because if you get a free Shell Smash off, oh, you get that free Shell Smash off, and it really shows. You stay in the field forever. Alright, so if they went for the Tailwind plus G-Max Resonance into the Clefairy, that'd be the ideal outcome, because that means I get to go for a uh, Follow Me and a uh, Max Hailstorm. Here's my Protect. Hopefully we see a G-Max Resonance into the Clefairy. I would assume that's where it's going. There's the Taunt. Oh my god, yes. That means we outspeed this Noivern next turn. And we KO it. And he's doing like no types of damage to me. G-Max Resonance, please be into the Clefairy. Hey, that's no types of damage. Um, unfortunately, they should get a Tailwind off if this is Focus Sash Noivern, which is what I assume. I'll go ahead and max Hailstorm, because if it is Sash, it will drop at the end of the turn. Or I suppose to ensure they that I get the KO, because they're probably just going to go for the Water move, and they'll be slower than me. Uh, I'll just Icy Wind. Yeah, I'll just Icy Wind. Just to, just to play it safe. Alright, so we finally get the thumbnail. <laughs> For the thumbnail. There's my boy. I just hope I get to click Cannonade this game, which I assume I'll be able to click. Hopefully it's not Focus Sash, because then this is just a free KO. No Tailwind, and then everything's cakewalk, to be honest. No, there's the Sash. Uh, so, if they Tailwind here, uh, what's going to happen is they're going to get a Water Move off, saving them from getting KO'd from the Rain. Um, yeah, there's a Tailwind. Or I guess it wouldn't matter if they Tailwind, but also now we're actually in a really good spot. Uh, because we Icy Winded, and we eat that hit. Thank you, Friend Guard. Wow, we ate that up. Uh, and because we Icy Winded here... Oh, we, the, the Icy Wind doesn't even matter because he didn't override the, the rain, or the hail. So Noivern will go down. And we do get a speed drop in the Lapras, which is pretty huge. Helps out the rest of our team. Um, and I get to Cannonade for free, pretty much. Nothing really wants to take Cannonade. I can follow me. Hopefully the Arcanine comes out, because that is just a free KO. I 
wouldn't even mind Urshifu. Urshifu does not take the candidate very well. Oh, wow, it's Zarina. Okay. Uh, well, we literally just follow me and do the same thing, because it does not take this hit very well at all. We'll max Hailstorm. We'll follow me. And we should naturally outspeed the Zarina as well, I believe. I think we, I think we eat both of these hits, and then we get another one. And since the Zarina's faster than the Lapras, the most threatening move on the field is still the Zarina's. And they're typically Assault Vests, so I'm, I'm pretty certain we just get this KO. Like, they shouldn't protect. Follow me. Like, yeah, it's gonna take it really well, but I think we're good. Next turn, I could even cannonade into the Zarina just to set it up. Yeah. So, Hail plus Cannonade should do it. There's the Power Whip. We eat that up, I believe. Hey, okay. And we're also naturally faster, we're just saying to note. Alright, uh, what I'll do here is send in my own Zarina. I think I just win with Urshifu, to be honest. I want a Cannonade, but I'm not entirely certain it'll KO. And Freeze Dry is going to be really annoying to deal with. Um, I think Cannonade will do it from this range, and also we could just U-turn to ensure it. it. It really helps out for the rest of the game. Uh, I, I Actually, let's not U-turn. Let's just play rough, or Trop Kick will guarantee the KO. I'm fairly certain Cannonade plus Trop Kick plus Hail plus the uh, everything else will do it. Oh, did we catch the Arcanine? Yes! <laughs> oh, we look like a genius from his perspective. We look like an absolute genius from his perspective. Thumbnail. And now that Zarina's taking a ton of chip. His entire side of the field... Well, actually, no. The, the Lapras is immune to everything on the field right now. But he's still taking chip. Hopefully we didn't just give him weakness policy. Is that a weakness policy? That's a weakness policy. Hello? Uh, we're, we should be fine, though. There's the freeze dry. Into the wrong Pokemon, to be honest. Yeah, we eat that. Zarina's 100% within Ice Beam range, and it's likely Assault Vest, considering how he played that last turn. So I think that's just a win. Alright, just go ahead and go for that Ice Beam. Trop Kick again, just to put it in range of the, um, of the Urshifu. And that should do it. I mean, it's taking Cannonade damage, so even if, like, it survives this turn, it's not going to be taking it very well. And he has to choose which one of these Pokemon to KO with uh, his Lapras. He's taking a minute. He's like, hmm, how do I lose? Alright, there's the Ice Beam for the KO on the boy, or the girl, however Zarina identifies. I, always, I just call everything the boy, especially Clefairy. Clefairy has always been, Clefairy in my eyes has always been the boy. <laughs> he, just, he just gives off like big Bobby Hill energy, if you know what I mean. I just sense Bobby Hill when I look at Clefairy. It's like, I'm okay, Dad. <laughs> he just wants to be helpful, you know? Alright, time to send in the man. There's the boy, and then there's the man. <laughs> Alright. Actually, no, we're all about female empowerment on this channel. Urshifu could be... Er, I mean, my black... Dang it, I don't have any females in this team besides the Zarina. Zarina's, like, the GOAT. Zarina's honestly pulled through this entire game. Zarina is probably the best Pokemon. The woman. Alright. 
Honestly, like, this team really comes together with Zarina, though. Like, unironically, Zarina is such a cool Pokemon. Being able to block all those, like, all those, like, priority moves, just having a solid attack stat, a decent speed set, too. And the fact that they gave it u turns ridiculous. Like, it's, it's just, like, probably one of the best grass types in the format right now. All right, but yeah, uh, we went undefeated this session. Granted, it's only three wins, but honestly, like, considering I'm coming off of so many losses, considering I'm coming off of so many losses, man, I'm cool with it. <laughs> I'm cool with it. What are we at, like 4,000 now? Oh, yes, the pearl string. Thank you. All right, let's, let's see what my final ranking is. Update rank. Hey, 3,952. So, honestly, pretty productive session. 8,000 to 3,900. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, join the Discord, watch me on Twitch, uh, tell me your favorite color. <laughs> Just the whole spiel. But yeah, uh, have a nice night, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.